Hey guys, uh, my name is Jeremy with Rocky Mountain Tiny Houses and we just want to give you a tour of our latest build, so come on in. Uh, we built this uh, this 20, what is it, 28 foot home for a couple in Denver. Um, come on inside. A lot of custom stuff in here. You'll notice um, we used a lot of blue stain, uh, beetle kill pine for a lot of the finishes. We've got exposed uh, steel for the loft, so it's a really kind of a really cool color palette. Um, we did a nice, here's the kitchen. Uh, the owners wanted stainless steel, which um, we think looks really smart. Um, we've got a nice custom dish rack, dish storage area, um, so all the, all the water will drain into here, into the sink. Um, a small three burner propane stove. Um, we did use IKEA cabinets in here. Um, just for their little higher end and they've got nice, you know, the nice automatic closers, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we did design and build this custom um, booth seating area so you can sit here comfortably to um, eat dinner. Uh, this will come out kind of like an RV and, and, and go down to make a, a six foot long bed. Um, so these cushions all come out. Uh, moving along, uh, the owner decided to do a, I'm not going to open that, but they decided to do a water storage tank with a, a pump in there, so that's where this is. Um, we have this lovely custom pantry that we built, um, which will hold a lot of her um, canned goods and things like that. Uh, full fridge, uh, freezer, fridge, um, yeah. Got some nice custom shelving here. Um, we, she's going to be using this a lot to travel, so a lot of the storage spaces have have things that will keep things from falling off them. So these are some some stainless steel rods. Um, the centerpiece of the bathroom is this cedar, beautiful cedar tub that the owner provided us, and we kind of built the entire thing around that. We have a custom shower rod up top. And you can see the blue stain up here on the ceiling, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, we've got a, a nice custom ventilation fan. Um, so it pulls both from the shower area and then the water closet um, from both sides and, and heads out there. So um, she went with a nature's head toilet and just some custom shelving in the, in the uh, water closet area. Uh, we've got the utilities, a lot of the utilities hidden back in here, um, so she has access to the water heater and also can switch from fresh water, from outside water source to the, the pump and tank um, in this area. Uh, we utilized some off-the-shelf um, uh, shelving brackets, but made them kind of custom so they're, she could move them if she wanted, but they're fairly, um, fairly fixed in place. Uh, a nice, this is I believe a 12 foot ladder that stores here nicely that she can access her storage loft in the front of the house. Um, and also it's tall enough to get on the roof to do any maintenance on the roof if she needed to. And going up the stairs, this is a stair unit that our owner Greg um, designed for another house that we used in this house as well. Um, almost a spiral staircase. Again, you can see the, uh, the, the things to hold stuff in place. A uh, nice closet back here with some shelves, removable shelves. Oops, not sure what that was. Um, and then a custom little vanity. And she, uh, the, the owner requested some uh, LED rope light. So we've got that around the vanity and that actually continues into the closet um, to light that up as well. And moving upstairs, we usually call these lofts, but in this house we're calling this an upstairs because it is quite large. The owners um, are going to have a king size bed up here. It has a full surround sound stereo system with a projector and the owners are going to provide a, a screen that will roll down, roll down on that end. Um, we have a custom headboard that will act as a place that they can lean against when the mattress is here. Um, with storage inside, we've got a custom, an area for her DVD player in here, storage on the sides. Um, they chose these high-end um, skylights that there's a remote control here and also in the lower area. 
so you can open them remotely and also draw the shades remotely. That's a nice feature. You can see the, the blue stain throughout up here as well. And we did like want to leave it open a little bit um, for a little bit of privacy, but also you can uh, there'll be air ventilation and, and things through the house. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, we hope you enjoy our latest build, and we'll see you next time.